with the closest compartment. How did you get from your place in Zanoni to the side of the fire in Theodosia? Uh, I believe we took my daughter-in-law's fiance's Toyota truck, I believe. And how long did it take to get there? Uh, I don't recall, but very long. And what did you do once you got there? Uh, when it was Robert found the fire, Theodosia was there, checked in with them, and started addressing the outline of the fire. Addressing the outline of the fire? Basically making sure it's not going any longer. Okay, okay. So you fought the fire? Basically checked it, you know. Okay. Did you get put out? Yes. You know, but how long it took to get put out? No, sir. I'm not sure how long Theodosia was there before I was. Uh, you know, but how long was that? You got there that uh, you got done fighting the fire? 15, 20 minutes, maybe. Not very long? No. Okay. What did you do after that? Uh, set with Robert and Reba, and I think Tim Jeffries was there for a while. Um, before you left your home to go to the fire, uh, were you made aware of any possible injuries? No, sir. Now, in addition to be a firefighter, you are a first responder, correct? Correct. What's, what, what does that mean? What, what's first responder? I'm certified medical first responder, so I can give basic first aid. I've uh, been trained bleeding control, airway, etc. Burn treatment? Yes. And did you render treatment to anybody at the scene that day? Rebecca. And where was she, where, where was she injured? Uh, left arm. What kind of injury was it? Heart. Did you have some conversation with the defendant at that time? Uh, we talked a little bit. I don't remember exactly what about. Did she tell you how she got burned? Uh, not exactly. What kind of treatment did you give, give to her arm? Uh, offered her some bandaging and uh, to cover it. Um, I, I, I don't remember. And did you know Savannah Lucky? Yes, I've met her a couple times. Had she been to your house? Was. Did you see Savannah uh, the day you're out there fighting the fire? I don't think so. I don't, I don't recall exactly, but I don't think I've seen her. Um, were you made aware of any injuries to Savannah that day? Uh, I was uh, Tim with for the water hydrant, and I think Rebecca told him, no, she's in the camper cooling off. She got overheated. <coughs> the water hydrant was on the uh, opposite side of the camper. How close did you get to the camper? Um, 25, 30 feet. And did it have windows on it? Yeah, I, be I believe they were all open. Okay. What about the door? The door was shut, I believe. To your knowledge, was there any electricity to that camper? I do not remember if the batteries were hooked up or if the generators were running. I don't remember. With no external power? No political service from outside the, the property. What kind of day was it? Very hot, very humid. Was the camper in the sun? Yes. Direct your attention to a couple of days after that. Did you have occasion to go out uh, to that farm again? Yeah, when, when they said Savannah was missing, I went out there to help look. You know about what time of day you were out there? No, sir. How late did you stay that day? It was well after dark. How many people were out there? 
they were scattered everywhere looking. I, I didn't have a head count. Did you go out there more than once? Uh, I went out the first day. I don't recall if I went the, the second day or not. Recall seeing the defendant uh, joining in that search for Savannah? Uh, Rebecca? Yes. Yeah. She was kind of frantic looking around the, the uh, main structure of the barn. You said you're out there maybe twice? I was out there the first day when she reported missing. I don't recall if I went back the second day or not. Okay. The only time you're out there searching with those other folks, uh, did the defendant say anything about uh, Savannah's body being burned on uh, top of the hill? No. At some other time after uh, Savannah's remains were found burned on top of the hill, uh, did you hear the defendant say anything about uh, Savannah and how, what happened to her that day? Uh, I, I believe her words were, what am I supposed to do when my daughter throws herself in a fire? That's all I have. Thank you.